Good afternoon, this is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts. Today I'm in San Diego, California, and I'd like to walk you through one of my listings. This is a 2004 Silverton 34C powered by Crusader 5.7 liter engines. I brought this boat in from the Delta about four years ago from freshwater covered slip, and the current owner isn't able to use it as much as they'd like because of work, and so they're gonna go ahead and move it on. Let's go ahead and get started. You can see there's nice shine down the side of the boat. The owner keeps lots of covers on it to keep it protected. We have a nice swim platform here in the back with swim ladder. It also has attachments for a tender. As we step into our cockpit, it's a nice open cockpit. Uh, steps going forward. You've got some tackle drawers here. You have a hot and cold water shower just here. There's a big kill box or storage box here in the deck. And this is, on some of them, they had a bait tank here. It would be easy to make it into a bait tank. On this one, it's just kind of like a wet storage. One thing about this model, I really like how it has stairs heading up instead of a ladder. And now as you step in, you're gonna say, man, is that a 34 foot boat? Well, not really. It has about a 39 foot overall length. In fact, a few years later, they ended up calling this the 36. But just a really great salon here. Uh, seating across on either side, air conditioning, heating, opening windows, which is really nice in San Diego. And uh, this sofa here folds out and makes into a two-person berth. Really nice galley in this boat. Uh, as you can see, very large, very large refrigerator. This owner has opted to remove the microwave and put in a nice little oven. But as you can see, for a boat of this size, I'm not sure where you'd find a larger, nicer kitchen with as much storage as this one offers. I really like that it has the hardwood flooring and you have more storage here across the way. So this area here, just a great area. It's upgraded with a Samsung TV. I see an Apple TV below it. Uh, you have a fusion sound system in the boat with iPod dock. So just a really comfortable area. I mean, for a 34 foot boat, this would make a great little weekend condo. Okay, moving on, as we move forward, we have our second stateroom here with very large bunk beds. They go back in their ways, and they have their own little storage locker here. Here's our head. Vacuum flush. Very nice size, because it's only the head. So this is not the shower, it's just the head. Lots of storage in there. Great unit. And then across the way here we have the shower. So just a great use of space. This was a really popular boat. And I gotta say, this is one that I wouldn't mind owning. Okay, here's our forward, our master stateroom. Three storage drawers beneath the bed. Hanging locker to port. More storage to starboard side with a little countertop that you could put a TV on if you'd like. But what's really cool about this is you have, you know, a closing door. Most boats of this size, they don't have a bulkhead for either of the staterooms and if they do it makes this area here feel really cramped not so here this is a very large very comfortable feeling boat okay nice stairs up to the bridge all right here's our bridge we have a VHF ICOM radio fusion control unit massive storage area here um, in this storage area, it goes back behind the, uh, the helm. On either side, there's one of these. And uh, all the covers that were up here, there was a cover on the windshield, the helm, the seats, and then this whole area, I was able to fit all of that uh, underneath the helm there, so that's very nice. All the controls look to be in very good condition. Got the radar on, so they're using the Raymarine for radar, and then everything else is done on the touchscreen Simrad up here. Great seating area aft of it. And uh, these, these helm chairs, you can spin them around. And now you've got a really neat conversation area for entertaining up here and a great view all the way around. You can see that it has all the great strata glass. All of it's in great shape. There's a little crazing on this panel because it faces the sun, but nothing I'd worry about. But all of it looks really good. The stitching is really good. Zippers, everything looks really in good condition. Also, one more thing to mention. This table here will go down 
and then as you see here there's a cushion right here that goes on top and this makes another bed or a really cool layout area all right let's check out the engine room and then that will wrap up our tour engine access is just here under the floor so I'll go ahead and pull that back and I'll be right back okay here in our engine room we have two 5.7 liter Crusader engines I believe these are 320 horsepower each they appear to be in good condition there's a little surface rust on the manifolds but I don't see where it's coming out of the gasket so I'm assuming that one of these hoses uh, in the vicinity of the manifolds leaked at some point and that's been rectified. I see a couple of new water pumps on the boat. Uh, both motors have newer water pumps and you can see back here the shaft seals have an extra shaft seal in line in case there was never an issue. You don't have to um, take the boat out of the water. You can just slide the new seal down which is really convenient. Uh, Just aft, we have our generator right there behind the automatic fire bottle. We have uh, two batteries here with a spare, and then we have two more batteries up in this area. So all in all, very clean engine room. Um, there's a couple signs of some things that could be cleaned up, uh, but not really anything that gets me excited. I mean, for a boat that's been in the ocean, um, this is looking pretty good. Now bear in mind that we purchased this boat uh, about four years ago out of fresh water. So it's been in salt water for four years and that's probably one of the reasons why it looks as good as it does. Okay, that's going to wrap up our tour of this beautiful Silverton 34 convertible available for sale in San Diego. It's located at the Kona Marina. It has an awesome end tie slip. And if you're approved for the slip by the Harbor Master, you can assume the slip with the sale of the vessel. So let's check that out. They've got a couple kayaks here on the dock, but just a great slip, you know? I mean, you're right here on the end tie, easy to get in and out, and a great view. Once again, this is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts. If you'd like help with this boat or any other boat, buying or selling in the Southern California area, please feel free to give me a call at 619-800-3491 or you can email me at bigboatben at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the water.